uh, gotten to see play MKX, to my knowledge. Um, coming in here with Reptile. Reptile, very hype character here in MKX. Uh, very safe mix-up. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, it's a very quick mix off of the forward four, I believe it is, uh, where he can actually do the overhead or the quick low with the slide. Uh, depending on the variation that he picks, if it's nimble or something like that, he actually can get a full combo off of an Aaron Black. Of course, just kind of an overall machine. And we are going to see Gunslinger here, who, who does have uh, some very inter interesting pressure. Uh, a lot of gaps uh, in the pressure as well, but very strong. The BNBs do a lot of damage and unable to slide under that acid bubble. And oh my goodness, this is quick start here. For Gengar. Acid spit, one of the best projectiles in the game. Very fast. Gotta hold a little bit of plus frames there, but the pushback is gonna be the curse. A very black here. And what a splat! Uh th they're from Gengar. And this Okay. I'm gonna say a comeback factor is is there for Blackout because he had two bars. But nauseous getting the kill for Reptile, simply being in his proximity, the stink doing the work. A little bit of zoning here earlier from Blackout. Respecting the plus frames on the down one. A lot, a lot of plus frames off of pokes in this game uh, where you do have to respect very quick mids or, or follow-ups, uh, which is sometimes not the case in Injustice. You know, uh, pokes don't really have a lot of plus frames. A, a lot of hits done in this game that you, you definitely got to hold. And very good recognition by Gengar there to get over the Caltrops with the slide rather than uh, trying to run. Because you cannot run through them. And wow, that's a great round for Blackout. He's able to hold on to all three bars, sitting on a full stick of butter, and reloading that gun. That's his six-gun Pilgrim, and he's about to put it to work. Going able to get out. And oh my goodness! Acid Bubble is, you know, for, for someone that likes to play very aggressive, um... It can be such a great tool for Reptile to put it out there and simply react to someone trying to jump over it, little things like that, uh, by meter burning it and freezing it in place. But that is a weakness is that there's a lot of special moves and even normals uh, that are able to low profile it and pretty much take it out of the game. But it does recover very fast and Reptile can still, you know, close the distance and pressure you after uh, regardless. But wow, it's Blackout started to bring this back and unfortunately gets low profiled. He's going to follow it up. No, the sneaky is low. Oh my goodness. You have to see that a thousand times in order for you to block it. And it is going to catch him off guard in the final moments. Oh, my goodness. Gengar. Gengar, but come out here and giving it to Blackout, who was someone that was very consistent, uh, did very well on Combat Cup. Gengar coming out swinging. I like it. Reptile, one of those sneaky characters. The, the mix is quick. And it can lead to a lot of damage, especially depending on the variation. But that, that low... Um, is disgusting you know it's 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 not a, a normal looking string you know he kind of turns around and kind of like love taps you with the back of his toe uh as the low very dirty stuff but if you do block it uh and, and he does commit to acid bubble swing don't don't swing with a down one don't swing with armor don't swing with a down two i want you to swing with your highest damaging bmb starter and I want you to punish that man. I want you to make it hurt. Make make him think about doing that again. Ooh, excellent stagger. There is a gap there and a gap well, right there when he does that. And it's very hard to expose the first one because of how quick the gunshots are. Uh, but Reptile's EX slide is one of the quickest reversals in the entire game. Absolutely disgusting. And he has locked in place those cow chops. Very good blocks on the staggers, and unfortunately, it's the low, and, and, and some of the mix uh, from Reptile, it does a lot of damage. It's very similar to, like, a Cassie Cage, where, you know, you eat the overhead, but you eat, like, 20% for it. It's absolutely disgusting. That's Gengar's picking up right where he left off, and sorry about the, sc the, the scoreboard, guys. My bad, 100% there. Gengar is up 1-0 in this matchup, and working his way. First, first, possibly another victory. Absolute savage wake up acid spit there. Gengar is really giving it to Blackout right now. He's just going to fall for the stagger into the command throw here. Aaron Black popping off a little bit. Gun is the best defense. I love so much about this game and definitely the characters um, and the dialogue. It's definitely a part of it. Mix it up. Oh, cancels it into some more stag or some more pressure. And the X-ray. 
the classic. Gengar starting us off 2-0 now over Blackout. And this may may very well be considered an upset. To me. To me. Blackout, I know, has been there, done that. Gengar, um, one of those guys that was making <laughs> making a name for himself. Uh, uh, D7X in the chat, absolutely. F forward 4 into the slide is actually unblockable. It's actually unblockable. And Blackout is going to stick it out with his with his guns. Here with Aaron Black, and Gengar has just caught him off guard. The quick mixes, uh, and, and, you know, the unor unorthodox choices on wake up uh, and in the zoning where, you know, you don't really see a lot of uh, reptiles throw projectiles, you know, very, very close to other people, and Gengar is just not giving an F. I love it. E even waking up. The, the, the wake up ass to spit, I think, is, is what really sent the message for me. Uh, that's really keeping Black on his toes. He's, he's blocked very, you know, decently well against Aaron Black as well. Hasn't fallen for too many staggers. Has gotten ticked on a couple of times. Uh, but off of that command throw, unless they EX it, I mean, it's not a bad day at the office to, to eat that command throw. Start knocked down there, but beautiful slide. That's some good damage for Aaron Black as well off of a special move. And he gets them with, of all things, the little sand traps. They are lows. They do help with us. Jesus Christ, I just saw an Aaron Black forward forward work. That thing comes in from downtown. Overhead from hell. Beautiful jump over on the acid bubble as well. And it looked like Blackout tried to press the button after the jump in. And oh no. And that's kind of Blackout playing a mind game here. Uh, you know, in the middle of the screen as to what he's going to do. Um, he's throwing a lot of projectiles. It's actually stopping the approaches from Blackout. It's, it's stopping uh, some of the acid spits as he's able to profile it uh, with the little... Uh, Sand Dune as well. Good reversal there. And Blackout going to take it with the brutality. Getting a little bit of acid on himself. It's perfectly fine. It's going to wash off here. On the Sky Temple. Look at this stage. Absolutely gorgeous. Banned offline for obvious reasons. It's 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 so intensive that the, that you, the system just can't handle it. But damn, does it look good. That rain looks fantastic. No crows, though. Harbinger Legion said, uh, bro, let me in. He plays this more than Injustice. First off, I want to say that I respect that. I respect your warrior skills. Mortal Kombat X should never have been dropped by anyone. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm a huge advocate for it. Mortal Kombat X was just, it was, it, it was too good. It was too good, and no one should have left it. It's a damn good game. But he wants to hand out free, free tickets to an ass whooping. I respect that. Hit me up on Twitter, buddy. Starting off with armor, here's Gengar, and play, playing a little mind games. And I, I've liked that NRS has kind of um, allowed Reptile to have those quick switch uh, mind games and mixes uh, with with the dash like he had in Mortal Kombat 9. That was a real big part of his play style, was just, you know, playing the visual mind game of him moving very fast. Being, being a sneaky lizard. Jesus! Another forward four coming in from downtown from this man. And the cow traps are going to be there. You can't move forward! Oh my goodness, this is scary. Excellent block on the low and a reversal command grab. It's going to check him. Beautiful stuff. And Blackout did go uh, take a game. It's now one to two. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about, the, the, the mind games. Because he, he, he could have just stayed in the corner right there and mixed Blackout instead, you know, doing the double dash. Mind games. Slides in reversal position, and damn. It, that that could have been EX slid, but I think that Gengar was kind of telling himself, uh, is it worth it at this point, as... I don't know what's happening anymore, because he just came up both bars on the breaker. And that moment is going to force a uh, blackout off the meter as well. Are we going to go to a game number five here? Ooh, looking for a read of a lifetime there. And wow, what a jump. Sliding those DMs, that was some risk. And oh my goodness. The double low, the overhead, uh, which was slowed down during the last patch. Not able to meaty, uh, but the low into the center, which is a low. Well, unfortunately, he just dropped his fatality. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a point away for that. Um, and it's actually, you know, Gengar 3-1. Just because you missed that fatality, come on, man. Come on! Pay your respects. This is 2018. You, sh you should know. Where's the zero? There we go. You should know, bro. 
2018. Not knowing your fatality. All right, game number five, decisive. Same variation, same characters. No, are we gonna switch from Gengar? Oh, baby, no. Okay, he, he was tempting us. I like it, Jason Voorhees. Showcasing Jason Voorhees, and we're gonna have a good showcase, showcase of Jason Voorhees after this match. Uh, Cyclones, Titanium Tigers, competitors, and rewinds are gonna be going at it, giving us. You know, one of the most oppressive characters in the game, Jason Voorhees. One of the scariest characters. Uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see. It's Friday the 13th. We should be frightened of this man. First blood going to Gengar. Very important here, MK, because you start out with a bar. Unlike Injustice, where, you know, you start with nothing, and that, that first bar could mean uh, everything and get you the first combo. Where in MK, uh, they're very giving. Give you the bar, and here, here here's two, two bars. Do something absolutely crazy, and there's not much. That Gengar can do about that, except for that EX slide. Uh, you can backdash and then apply some pressure that way as well. But if you guys notice, uh, what's really aesthetically pleasing about Mortal Kombat, and you know, it, again, it's, it's it's personal preference, but I, I enjoy, you know, it being a smaller, not necessarily a smaller stage, but it's a smaller. Uh, I, 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 I guess I guess it will be a smaller stage where the the, the actual. Um, you know, uh, windowed. I don't, I don't know what to call it. Anyways, there's a, there's a smaller uh, depth of field for, for, for the actual stage where uh, it, you're not 18 miles from each other. It's always in your face. And the character models are much larger here in MK. Very aesthetically pleasing. Graphics are looking fantastic, especially for his day and age. As Blackout is chip away. Went for the Reaver Lifetime with a throw, and which hasn't been happening all time. And he's going to get the brutality. Jesus, taking the man's face off. Tell man to walk it off. That's a reverse 3-0 for Blackout right there. I warned you. And he even got the hidden. Oh my goodness. I'm done. He actually did it. He got the crow. I'm done. Excellent stuff there, Blackout. The reverse 3-0. Doing some great works there as we are going to start move on right now to our main.